On HeyGen, we just launched a video agent and today I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. Before we get started, I just wanna preface this video by saying that our video agent is still in beta, which means that while using it, you might not get the exact result you want 100% of the time. That being said, we want you guys to test it out, tell us what you love, tell us what you hate, and just give us all the feedback so we can work to make this feature as good as possible for you guys. All right, let's get started. All right, in order to find Video Agent, you're gonna log into HeyGen, and you're gonna see at the very top, we have this banner, which you can click into, and it will take you straight to Video Agent. Or it's also featured on the left-hand side over here under Video Agent. So we're just gonna go ahead and click this. Now, this brings us to our video agent layout, and here's a few different things to note here. So up top, this is our prompt box, and this kind of acts just like ChatGPT. You could type your prompt, upload your video assets, and this is where you're gonna actually be creating your video. Now, down here is our community. So essentially what you do is if you find a video that you really like, you could click into it, and it will show you the exact prompt they used, as well as kind of the plan that our agent gave them back. And you can even see if they made any changes. This one didn't, they just said proceed as mentioned, but sometimes you'll see here, people will say, use no avatar, or they'll make small changes in this little plan. Another example, if we go down here, we can see this is kind of more of a UGC ad that this user created. And as you can see, you could actually view all of the assets that they uploaded in order to create this, as well as their prompt. And if you're interested in using this, all you have to do is select use prompt down here. But we're gonna head back up to our prompt box and I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own video. All right, in order to write our prompt, I'm gonna be using this GPT that we built. Um, I'll have it linked down below in the description if you guys want to give it a try and it's what I'm going to be using throughout this whole video. But essentially, I have this article about Fox News signing a partnership with Barstool and Dave Portnoy. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to paste this here and then I'm going to write a prompt asking it to create a 60 second video explaining the article. Beyond that, here's where you're going to want to include any other details and you're going to want to be really as specific as possible. For example, if you want your avatar to look a certain way, if you want any certain visuals to be included, if you want a hook to be set at the beginning of the video, or if you want a certain call to action, be sure to include that right here. All right, in my prompt, I included the specific hook that I want our avatar to say. Um, I included the time limit. I included what I want the avatar to look like. All good things to consider. But now we're just gonna hit send in order to get our prompt. All right, and here's the prompt we got. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to read through it. Um, I think for the most part, I like it. If there's anything you're seeing that you don't like, you could just go ahead and prompt it and say, like, uh, change the avatar to be a woman who's in a professional sports casting room. You know, whatever you're looking for for your specific video. But in this case, this looks pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and we're gonna bring it over to HeyGen. All right, now back in HeyGen, we're gonna click on our prompt box, and here we're gonna paste our prompt. And now here's a few additional things to note. Right here at this plus is where you could upload additional assets, such as photos or videos you want included in your agent video. That being said, if you don't have anything you wanna upload, you can just leave it blank, and we'll have a fully AI-generated video for you. In this case, there are a few specific clips I wanted included in this video, so I'm just gonna hit this plus and then I'm gonna select upload from device. If you already uploaded those assets into HeyGen previously, you could just select choose from assets. But like I said, I'll be choosing upload from device. All right, I uploaded a few different things. I did two videos of Dave Portnoy just talking and I also included a screenshot of the article because I thought that would just kind of be a nice touch. Then here's where you could choose your time load of the video. I'm gonna opt for 60 seconds. And then over on the right hand side here is where you could choose your aspect ratio. So if the video is going to be vertical or horizontal, I'm going to go ahead and choose vertical. And then you're just going to hit send over here. After a few minutes, agent is going to come back to you with a plan. So let's read through it. As you can see, it's broken down by topic, audience, music, all of that. Really make sure you read through this before hitting proceed because there might be some elements you want to change. For example, it wants our video orientation to be landscape. 
I actually want this to be a vertical video that's meant for like Instagram reels or TikTok. So I want to adjust this. Then the avatar, they say Midwestern sporty looking male avatar dressed casually in polo or a team jacket. I don't really care if he's just in a polo or a team jacket. I actually am afraid that that might give us a bit of a weird result. Um, if there's like misspellings on this jacket or something like that, it just kind of ruins the whole video. So I'm going to prompt it and ask it to change it to a vertical video and change the avatar to just be like a UGC style male recording on his phone. All right, then we're just going to hit send. And it'll take a few more minutes and it'll come back to you with a revised plan that we'll read through one more time just to ensure that everything is exactly how we want it. All right, it gave us back our new plan and this is looking pretty good. As you can see, it made the changes we asked. It changed the video orientation and the avatar. So I think I'm all set with this. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and type proceed. And now we're just gonna wait a few minutes while it generates the actual video. All right, our video's ready, so let's see what we got. We got. Dave Portnoy just signed a major deal with Fox Sports. Let's break down what this means for sports media. This strategic partnership sees Fox Sports cutting several traditional shows, signaling a significant shift in their content strategy. The network is betting big on Barstool founder Dave Portnoy to attract a younger, more engaged audience to their platform. This move aims to tap into the demographic that prefers digital content and the unfiltered style Portnoy is known for. Fox's decision reflects a broader trend in media, adapting to how younger viewers consume sports and entertainment. The goal is clear, leverage Portnoy's massive online presence and unique appeal to expand their reach. This partnership could redefine how sports content is delivered and consumed in the coming years. It's a bold play by Fox Sports, signaling a new era for sports broadcasting. Fox is betting that Portnoy's unfiltered style can hook a younger audience, but the big question is, will it work? We'll be watching. All right, I'm gonna be honest, that was a pretty good result for our first try. Like I said, agents in beta, so it's likely that there's gonna be a few issues we run into. One of the issues I'm seeing with this video, although I like it overall, is I uploaded two videos that I wanted to be included and neither of them were included in the video. But we can fix this. So what we're gonna do is go up to the top right here and select this edit button. Here, it's gonna bring us into this editor where we're able to edit the script, choose a different avatar if we want, edit the voice, the music, the media, and even our captions. So let's start off with editing the media. So I wanna swap out, this wasn't a super great photo I feel like, so I'm just gonna swap it out for the video I want. So click on it. And then you have two options. It will bring you to stock media, or you could go to your uploads and upload an image or something you already have in your library. For this example in particular, I feel like in the stock media, let's check, but I'm guessing they don't have a ton of great options for Fox Sports, um, as well as Dave Portnoy, it's pretty niche. And yeah, they have some like sporty videos, but not exactly relevant to what this video is about. So I'm gonna go over to my uploads. Here, I'm gonna go to my videos, and these are the two videos I wanted included. So let's swap out that image for this video. All we have to do is click on it, and as you can see, that's added as the new media, which is perfect. I already think that that will upgrade this video quite a bit. Um, beyond that, I don't think that the music was a super good fit for this type of video. So let's click on that and try to find something a little bit better. Honestly, let's see. I'm gonna be honest, I actually think this video would be better with no music. I feel like it's supposed to be more of a TikTok, Instagram style reel. We don't need music for this, I'm thinking. So made those changes, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's check out the captions. One error I will note that I'm sure you guys are noticing is the captions, none of them include an apostrophe. It says like Dave Portnoy's, but it's just an S with the no apostrophe. Um, it looks like I can't edit this in captions at the moment. 
I wonder if that's something I could edit in the script potentially. No, the script does include the apostrophes. Like I said, it's a beta feature, so win some, lose some. In that case, for this video, I'm just going to turn off the captions. Easy, easy problem solve. All right, and then we're going to hit generate again. Something you can do if you want maybe a little bit more control and you want to be in the AI studio is you could go ahead and click edit in studio instead. But in this case, I had to make just some pretty small minor changes. I was able to do all of it here, so we're just going to go ahead and hit generate. All right, we got our regenerated results, so let's check it out. Dave Portnoy just signed a major deal with Fox Sports. Let's break down what this means for sports media. This strategic partnership sees Fox Sports cutting several traditional shows, signaling a significant shift in their content strategy. The network is betting big on Barstool founder Dave Portnoy to attract a younger, more engaged audience to their platform. This move aims to tap into All the right, demographic press that prefers digital time. content uh, and the unfiltered style so the Portnoy is known for. Right now. Fox's decision reflects a broader trend in media, adapting to how younger viewers consume sports and entertainment. The goal is clear, leverage Portnoy's massive online presence and unique appeal to expand their reach. This partnership could redefine how sports content is delivered and consumed in the coming years. It's a bold play by Fox Sports, signaling a new era for sports broadcasting. Fox is betting that Portnoy's unfiltered style can hook a younger audience, but the big question is, will it work? We'll be watching. All right, I would say that video was almost perfect, except for the part where the B-roll I uploaded, it didn't turn down the volume. Um, granted, I did upload it like full volume, so... It is what it is, but we're going to edit it one more time to just remove that air. So what we're going to do is go back to our edit button. And this time, let's try editing in studio. All right, so we're in the AI studio. We're going to go to that scene that I'm not super happy with. So here we go, Dave Pornoy talking. All we want to do is remove the volume from him talking. So I clicked on it, and as you can see, it has this little volume toggle up here. I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to bring it down to zero. So now this should look a lot better. He should be talking in the video, like B-roll, but no sound should be coming out of his mouth. So we can hear the narrator. So we're now going to hit generate one more time. And you know what they say? Third time's a charm. All right, we just got our final result. Fingers crossed on this one. Let's see it. Dave Portnoy just signed a major deal with Fox Sports. Let's break down what this means for sports media. This strategic partnership sees Fox Sports cutting several traditional shows, signaling a significant shift in their content strategy. The network is betting big on Barstool founder Dave Portnoy to attract a younger, more engaged audience to their platform. This move aims to tap into the demographic that prefers digital content and the unfiltered style Portnoy is known for. Fox's decision reflects a broader trend in media, adapting to how younger viewers consume sports and entertainment. The goal is clear, leverage Portnoy's massive online presence and unique appeal to expand their reach. This partnership could redefine how sports content is delivered and consumed in the coming years. It's a bold play by Fox Sports, signaling a new era for sports broadcasting. Fox is betting that Portnoy's unfiltered style can hook a younger audience, but the big question is, will it work? We'll be watching. All right. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that result. Um, Dave Portnoy's video clip is now fixed, so it's a silent B-roll clip just as I intended. So this is looking pretty good for the most part. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it up here, or if I wanted to go ahead and share it directly to Twitter, LinkedIn, or maybe email, I don't know. You go ahead and do that right here. But like I said, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and download. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, our video agent product isn't perfect yet, but we need your guys' help in order to bring it to that level. So be sure to test out video agent, try tons of different types of videos, and leave us feedback. Let us know what you like about it. Let us know what you hate about it. Let us know what's working really well and what's not. And we'd love to take all of your guys' feedback into account to make the product as good as possible for you guys. If you guys do get any good videos or prompts, be sure to share them on social media and tag us. We would love to see them and we'd love to even maybe repost your content.
But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you all next week.